Yeah. Meg and Party. So Meg, Meg and the Stallion and Party obviously were a couple and they <clears throat> broke up and you know, he's now dating uh is Jada from here? J- she's um Jamaican. She's from, from the UK? Jamaica. I think she's from Jamaica. No, she's from Jamaica. Oh, she's yeah, from I've been, Jamaica. I've been yeah, following her since Jamaica. Instagram existed. Jeez. Yeah, no. uh-uh. Well, I unfollowed <laughs> her, but yeah. I was there early. You don't follow her when she started dating parties? She had one of the craziest, I'm going to go find it. She had one of the craziest friend zone posts in IG history, like in 2011. It was her boyfriend at the time. Mm. And then she like blew up. Like I think Drake followed her in like 2011. And mm-hmm. she did this post. That dude had to kill himself. <laughs> That was her boyfriend Mm -hmm. and was like, yo, no matter what, if I'm with another guy or I keep traveling and dating other celebrities, you're always going to be the one I come back to. And they were like under a waterfall. And I was like, this is the most disrespectful shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. (laughs) There's no way a Jamaican man is going to go for this. Well, I'm glad she had him under the waterfall so we couldn't see him (laughs) crying. No, it was the back of his head. Uh, (laughs) Oh, Oh, they didn't show his face? No, she had her ass out for sure. Oh, okay. And then just the back of his head and was saying, always, no matter what, we're family. Yeah. but it you gotta say that though cute. to lighten the blow a little bit. You gotta kind of no. Let you can just know. shut the fuck up. Yeah, don't put no picture at the back of my head and you talking just, about no, no matter how many me. men you date, you coming back. No, you're not coming back to me. This is over with. But either way, uh, party responded to Meg had put out her, her her song. What was it? The name of her song? Cobra. Cobra, and she seemingly had bars directed at Party and mm-hmm. their whole relationship. So Party dropped a record uh, last night, I believe, and um, he responded to Meg and. Um, he has some interesting things to say. Uh, mm-hmm. he, he said he's not talking to Megan Thee Stallion. He's talking to Megan the person. He barred her up. Um, no, he 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 definitely has some interesting things to say. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I agree with him putting out a <sighs> song directed to her. I'm gonna tell you why. It's so bitchy. Why are men so feminine? Yeah, that's oh. and he. But to be fair, he's she's an artist. He's an artist, right? So I understand that part. She put out some bars directed at him. He decided he wanted to respond and, you know, tell his side of the story in an artistic way. And he put out a song. I get that part. But as a man, just away from being an artist and a writer, as a man, I just think sometimes you just have to leave certain shit and be like, shorty, you know that. You know the real deal. Like, I'm not going to do that with you. I'm not making a song. I'm not airing our business out. Um, he told the world Meg got lipo, over now she's posting gym pics and gym videos like she worked out to get that body. Things like that is what I'm just like, we didn't need that. We just didn't need that. So, And that's why it's dangerous to put a song out because it's like, bro, we didn't need that. Mm. Like, cool, but not cool. We didn't need that. He went kind of crazy just off one alleged bar. And I was talking to Damaris on text this morning about it. <clears throat> I was like, damn, party can't like respond? Why y'all... Why all the women killing him? <laughs> and boy, did Damaris put me in my fucking place. Absolutely. Oh, God. <laughs> I said, he's not allowed to reply, LOL. She never said his name, just said someone cheated where she lays her head. That's, That's it. true. Mm-hmm. That's true. After everything that girl has gone through, just let it rock. What? Would have just went away. What happened to men just being the bigger people? <laughs> Every guy got a clap back. It's so sassy and gay. <laughs> this is a random female rapper. This woman you were with in a relationship. Ignore it. Bite the bullet. You have everything and you're still miserable. Yes, bitch. I've been through (laughs) back-to-back traumas. I'm alone in this world. It's called depression, Mm -hmm. which is why I was rapping on that song like that. Like it. I ain't just diss him. Oh, this is where Damaris, I think, was drunk. Um, (laughs) She's a drunk uh, it's not like she. It's not like she dissed him on some pussy rap club shit. It was a song about vulnerability and mental health, which I replied with, fine, fine. Fine, fine. You win. (laughs) Fine, fine. Yeah. Yeah, like y'all won. Never mind. You brought up some good points. But 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 that's so I'm just gonna shut up. But that's how I felt. And I and I like party. I've always I've always expressed great writer, great great writer. I I like I fuck with party, but I was just I didn't I didn't like Mm. that though. I just didn't like that. it's it's just it just because here's my thing, and I always think about this part of it. When you do things like that. In the moment, it's like, oh, ah, oh, listen, you know, social media is reacting. But then what about two days from now when nobody's talking about this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you feel when you're brushing your teeth and you look in the mirror like, that was corny? Here's the thing. Like, why did I do that? I'm somebody that believes in double standards. So had that been reversed and Party put out a record saying that Meg cheated in the bed that he lays in, but mm. it was a sub. And then Meg did that exact record and 
barred him the fuck up would have been the greatest thing ever. She would have been empowered. It would have been amazing. Mm -hmm. but and I agree. But that's the difference. But I agree. But I agree woman. in yeah, double yeah, standards. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Party, you gotta just shut you the gotta, fuck up. You gotta eat it. It's, it's fucked up as men, but it's certain things where we just gotta we gotta take it on the chin. You got your new relationship now. Exactly. You're in a, are you not embarrassing your new girl? Yeah, like, because, yeah. And, that's that? and that's the other thing. And that's the other thing. I think part of him embarrassed. Now. He was trying to get this shit off for quite some time. I think he mm. felt very embarrassed during that entire thing and had to shut up. And again, I don't know their fucking relationship, but he seemed to be pretty supportive of her yeah. during a lot of that from mm -hmm. what we saw because mm -hmm. he got a tattoo. Yeah. So <laughs> that means he was supportive. Support. Yeah. Of her lips. I think yeah, he, we I think he did shut the fuck up for a while. And mm. supported her through all that shit. And then they broke up. And as he said in the record, we broke up fine. Like, you making this shit messy when we didn't have to have a messy breakup. Mm. So I think he heard that line and wanted yeah, to get his shit off. Triggered. But yeah. again. And, and Jada never... already, already embarrassed her last man. So <laughs> it's right on par. <laughs> yeah, but that's, see, but I feel like that. And ladies, y'all can speak to it. That affects your current relationship, though. Yeah. yeah. Right or wrong? 100%. Like, I would think because so. now you're thinking like, yo, all right, so. But if he was over it, then why does he need to write a song? That's what. It? Yeah. To find over it's, it. It's just ill. I could be fine about a situation and still speak on it. No. <laughs> shut up. Just shut up. I'm, 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 I'm not saying the party situation in general, but no. people can be over things and fine with them, but still. Okay, yeah. but do you remember like the thing that you were saying about, about the show? It. You see when the show with the guy who had this missus in the audience and he's shouting out else, there are some things just don't say. Yeah. Like you don't need to oh, say I mean, it in a way. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a little <laughs> but more it's, drastic. But. It's like, just don't embarrass, like if you want to get something off your chest, do it in the privacy of our own home. Don't like come and embarrass me in the process of it. No. Was, do you reckon he was just cashing in on the moment then? But, but does he need to do that? But see, that's but what as I'm a saying, woman, you, you won't take like you're not looking at your man seriously. Like that's what you're cashing in on. That's that. what I'm saying. It's it's just every, it's too much shit for the moment. Yeah. And that's the part where I'm just like, bro, you gotta be, you gotta think after the moment. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of people don't do. They don't think about the after the moment. They think like right now. This is gonna go viral and yeah. everybody's gonna be talking about it. All the blogs are gonna post it and da 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 da. And every you know, podcast gonna wanna interview me. But what about when all of that is over with? Mm -hmm. Like, then what? Then how do you look as a as just as, as a guy? And then how does your new girl look at you? And then mm -hmm. how does your next girl, if this don't work, work out, like this women now look at you like if it don't I go right between us, Wait, you might air right. some shit yeah. out. Like I gotta give some I gotta give some pushback on this. No, Rory and Ma. Hey, it's Rory. Hey, it's Maul. Hi, it's Owls. Hi, it's Nada. And this was a Patreon exclusive clip that you guys got on YouTube. Go subscribe to patreon.com forward slash New Rory and Maul.